You guys, I'm so excited for this video. Um, hi, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. If you're new here, I'm Jordan. If you're not new here, hi, welcome back. So yesterday on Instagram, I put up a little question box asking you guys for your theme suggestions so that I can base summer outfits around them. Rather than doing just like a regular summer outfits video, which I usually just do, I figured this would be kind of fun. Um, all credit to Alexa Sunshine 83. She is one of my favorites here on YouTube and she definitely inspired me to do this. Um, I love her series on this and I know watching B. Jones style for years doing her uh, style on the fly, which I feel like is kind of the same kind of feel and I think it's so fun. Fun concept that I've never done because I feel like when I'm doing my outfit videos I'm doing outfits that I would realistically wear and I personally don't do much so it's very limited in like the style and like the um, events that I would go out in these outfits for and it kind of this this kind of idea gets my brain going gets me to be creative and think outside the box but anyway thank you guys so much for your theme suggestions and answering my little question box if you don't follow me already on instagram um follow me i'll link it down below or i'm at comfy jordy on there if you guys like this i'd love to do it again and yeah make sure you're following so you can be included in the next one so i'm kind of nervous because i really took the time to put together my outfits if you guys watch me you know i don't always do that i kind of do it like very on the spot and then I end up hating the outfits after and I'll edit myself in saying I don't know why I put this in but this one I think we're good I think I put a lot of thought into them I tried some on I like really thought about it so I have my phone here the first one we are going to do is a first date outfit so this is one that I really had to think about because I haven't gone on a first date in my adult life ever. Um, my first dates were all in like high school and stuff and then I, you know, started dating my now husband. And so I'm like, what would I actually wear on a first date if I were to go on one? Um, it would probably be something similar to what I would wear on a date that I go on now. But I kind of pulled from here, let's see, which one was? What I thought here was that I would do stick to my neutrals because that's what I feel best in or at least black and white um, in a print that I feel like is really one of my favorite pieces in my closet and I thought that would make me feel very confident so let's try it on. This skirt is one of my favorite skirts that I've ever owned. It's from H&M last summer I want to say and I don't know there's something about this skirt that makes me so happy. It's actually like the same kind of the same similar print of stuff that they're still selling right now but it's a little bit different. Anyway, it has these like slits in it. Can you see that? Which just, I don't know, something about it makes me feel so like hot, hot, like H-A-W-T. And you know, you show some skin. And don't worry you guys, if you see my bruises throughout these video on my legs, I have started taking my iron supplements again, so they will go away soon. Um, but anyway, so this is the skirt. It has like a bunch of slits in it, if you can see that. Um, and then I have this basic, white t-shirt which I feel comfortable in I feel confident in and I'm going to add a leather blazer on top of it I would say for summertime the leather blazer is optional in Michigan I could definitely get away with it especially this week it is the end of June and it's in the 60s and 70s but which is great for this because I feel always a little bit cuter with um, a jacket on I feel like it completes an outfit and this one, nonetheless, kind of honestly wish that I had like a skirt that was like that length to wear with it. To be 100% transparent, this outfit is very, very much so inspired by my one of my favorite people on Instagram and TikTok, um, Mariah BTW, and I'll put her TikTok here, but she put up like an outfit of the day or outfit idea thing up and kind of like played on that because the outfit has been like repeating in my brain. It makes me feel very comfortable and like I said, I can still take it off if I'm getting a little too warm on my date. And for shoes, I'm not a heels kind of person, but I am a cowboy boot kind of person. So, I think that that's cute. This is something that I would personally wear. For the next theme, we have, this one is really fun to me. Girls Night Out, but Western inspired, which I feel like a lot of my looks tend to go towards Western inspired, at least lately because of the cowboy boots. And just in general, I have a few pieces that really make me scream Western, and they're my favorite pieces in my closet. And you guys have watched me thrift this one a while ago. And I was thinking I could do something with this, honestly. I have put together this outfit before, this is the, actually the outfit that I wore on Christmas last year and it was this, like that, and I thought that was really cute. So this is definitely one that I would wear for that purpose. Challenging myself is a little bit of a uh, stretch because it's only a dress, 
but I wanted to have an excuse for this dress in this video. Look at how beautiful it is. It's from Target. It's from their um, designer collab, I think, with Rixo. Yeah, still have the tags on it. I've never worn it. And I thought this kind of reminded me of like a southern-y dress. I don't know, something very pretty, like a southern slip dress even. Like, I guess a slip dress wouldn't be southern, but like ones that I see. Look at this dress, you guys. I just think this is like the cutest little dress ever. And it really does remind me of like, not Jenny and Georgia, but like, I don't know. <laughs> not, I don't know. But anyway. If I'm going for Western, I feel like I can't not wear my Western boots, right? And I feel like, okay, wait, I kind of like the brown with the blue. So that's kind of what I would go for. And I wish this dress had a little bit of a slit on it, to be honest. It feels like a nightgown. This is what I would wear. Match, maybe that's doing too much. It could be cute though. I don't know. I really like this dress though. This is something I would so wear out and oh, I just really like the sleeves like this. Can you see how they puff up like that? Yes. I just added this hair thing because you see it matches the dress exactly and I feel like that looks kind of cute. Um, and I have my natural hair going lately. I don't know. I just have been liking it lately. So anyway. Okay, next is night out, not Western inspired. So I figured I'd do that right after that one because this would be, I would say, a girl's night out, right? Like I'm going out with my girlfriends, we're going to a restaurant, we're going to a nice restaurant or to get, grab drinks, whatever. And this would be one that I would wear more so going out with my husband on a date night or just in general, if I was going out by myself, let's say. <sighs> But this one I have, I'm going to start putting it on. I do have a little bit of heel action there. So I'll show you how I would style heels and this is the kind of heels that I wear. I feel really good in an oversized blazer and um, also black jeans. I'm someone who will wear black jeans with a sweatshirt, with heels, with anything and I'll dress it up, I'll dress it down. I love jeans. I'm a pant person. I feel like you guys have definitely seen me in this sports bra before, and yes, it's a sports bra, but it's a vintage sports bra, and for some reason, the vintage sports bras fit so much better on me, but my go-to, for some reason, if I am going to go the cropped version, and I feel like a crop top or a bra kind of look under a blazer looks really sexy, and for me, this is how I feel comfortable like that. So this is exactly what I would do. This is my blazer from my thrift swap with Margo, and I love it so much. I like to do a little peekaboo of the fabric because it is summer, gotta keep that in mind. And like I said, if I'm going out at night, I think I can get away with this, it's not too humid out. These little heels from ASOS, and they're just a black little mule style sandal heel. And I just think they're so elegant and sexy, and I'm gonna leave my hair up for this because I kinda like the like, tussled, 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 <laughs> I don't know put back kind of look and this is what I would wear. These little vintage beaded bags, I think they're so beautiful. You can get them for like not super expensive. If you can see the detail on this, I wanna say I got it for like, I don't know, five bucks, four bucks at Salvation Army. And I just think they are so amazing and I don't see them used enough in outfits, but this is exactly how I would wear it. It kind of juices up the outfit a little bit. You can still wear it um, across you like this, and I think that's super cute. Little night out outfit. Next is going to the farmer's market, which this is a very realistic one for me. This is a realistic outfit that I would wear, and this is something that I do do. So that made it a little bit easier for me, styling wise. Here we love color. We have it. Farmer's market is a perfect opportunity to dress comfy while feeling very cute. And as you can see, a lot of these outfits have. In arm covering and that for me is because for summer like I said where I live I it's really a coin toss whether I am gonna be sweating so much that I can't wear this or if I'm going to be cold if I'm going inside air conditioning is always very very high and so I like to just come prepared and then if I get too warm I'll just take it off but also I think it completes the outfit so anyway I thrifted this in my last thrift for me I want to say or the one before that and I love this so much I think it's so cute I'm going to put my knot pot bandana on this is like actually almost exactly what I wore last weekend except for with my white and pink uh, gingham pants from Urban Outfitters if you saw my Instagram here um, But this one I think is so cute. I got so many compliments to it like that. I kind of wore it like this if you can see and I 
think it's super cute with your hair all falling out and it matches really nicely. Like I said, this is from NotPot. They um, are a CBD company if you guys don't know, but they also have really cute little accessories and I'll give you a little close up of this. I just think it's so cute with the little strawberries and they sent this with their recent body cream um, launch and I thought it was so cute. This is probably what I would wear honestly even if it doesn't match. Of course you can't forget my accessory, my little farmer's market bag <laughs> which I love these bags so much for so many things because they're so expandable actually but that's beside the point. Next we have the watermelon festival. So watermelon festival. I went strawberry picking last week and this is no this is not what I wore to it. I'll show you. Um, and I figured I'd kind of do a play on that for a watermelon festival because I probably wear a similar vibe to both. So that something super simple and this is like my go-to outfit for something like that where I want to feel chic and cute. Okay. This is what I have on right now. If you can see these pants, they're from H&M recently. They're a little bit big. I have to take them in a little bit, but they're so cute and so comfy. Um, print action and they're very stretchy very comfortable that's basically like wearing leggings um, and then this top is like the top of the season for me i feel like i gravitate towards this every time i see it clean in my closet i've seen it a while ago if you guys can see it and i just think it's so perfect and i wish i have i think the brand is white stag i want to say yeah white stag so if you ever see a white stag kringle fabric button down highly recommend my go-to accessory of the season for like the past three years have been a visor and that is because I you guys know I'm like a hat person through and through I'm always in a hat I hate doing my hair hats my scalp gets really itchy and dry and everything so this like lets my follicles and my hair my scalp breathe I thrifted this thrifting visors is so easy there are always visors outfit to kind of funk it up a little bit is to add like these platform shoes that are cow print and I love mixing prints that's one of my favorite things to do oh cash hello um, and that is what I would do with this probably if I didn't care too much to be comfortable. But if I'm going for comfort, I would go with my Hoka ones. So, my little baby, he's the only one that's allowed in my office when I'm filming because he's so good. Hoka ones, these are my favorite. I love Hoka's. These are so comfortable. They literally are so lightweight. These are the Clifton's, I believe. And the Hocus for running, I love them for walking. Um, I use these ones specifically for walking long distances. So if I'm going to a festival, you better believe I'm probably going to be wearing these. And I feel like it looks really cute with this outfit, actually. So look, I love these shoes so much. I think they're so cute. Um, but that's Watermelon Festival. Okay, the next one, going out a picnic. I have the perfect outfit for this. I could either go with a little shorts top action or I could go with a dress. Go with the dress this time. I'm going to try this dress on. Let's see Target dress from last year and I just love it. Any chance I get to wear it, I love it. I paired it with my little cowboy boots again and I feel like the brown, my brown cowboy boots have quickly become my favorite. Um, but then I think for a little picnic action, I'd throw on, oh wait, I love this. My new little hat from Anthropology. I showed you guys on my Instagram story. I don't think I showed it on YouTube but, though. Um, if you can see this, how perfect is that? Down below, I think it's such a dupe for a lack of colors hat. I don't know, I think it's so cute. Um, but then with a little vibe there on the cowboy boots, this is so cute. This is such a picnic vibe for me. And I like my favorite dress, my little baby doll dress. I feel like they look so cute with cowboy boots. I just love that look so much. This one is, I work nine to five, but I have drinks with friends after work outfit challenge. So this one, I feel like I have a very good one for. Um, and I'm kind of going to combine it with this one, which is um, a night out in Brooklyn, New York. I'm gonna go nine to five, and then I'm going to switch it over to nighttime out in Brooklyn and get, getting drinks with friends there. So let's do that. So this one, I'm going to go all black because if I had to go to office, that probably the majority of my wardrobe would be black because I feel like it's so easy to put together and feel cute in throughout the day and throughout the week. This is what I would do for my daytime look. So I did these little chunky loafers and knit skirt which is one of my favorite finds from the thrift store ever. This outfit is actually fully thrifted, the top and the skirt. I love this top so much. And this is exactly how I would switch it over from nine to five to going out. So if I was especially in Brooklyn going out, this is what I would do. I'd untuck this, kick the shoes away, like I'm in a Russian like pretty woman or uh, sex in the city and then look at oh my god I have a sports bra on under that looks like a little crop top wow that looks so cute for going out with my friends and then I'm just going to add a little bit of a black heel my same black heels because I only have one pair and then I'm going to do this 
do this. I could even throw my hair up if I wanted to or let my hair down. Would I throw my hair up for the 9 to 5 or throw it down for going out? I don't know. But this is what I would wear going out in Brooklyn with my friends. Thrifted outfit except for the shoes are ASOS. And this is again a thrifted sports bra. And this is exactly what I would wear. I'd throw on some red lipstick because that's my go-to for going out. Like I feel like that's like a thing. And this is it. How did I do? This one says hot, hot, sweaty summer. So this one is one that I would do if I was going outside on a very, very hot day. Basically wanted to just be naked and inside, not doing anything with the air conditioning on. I look for scorching summer hot day. What is this? Oh, it's a mask. But this is an outfit I wore on the boat when it was really, really hot out and I felt very comfortable in it. I know you would think like, why would you wear overalls? in a hot hot day but because they're so breathable i don't know i feel like they're very comfortable my overalls with a nice tank top under it and then i have this wish me luck hat on which i just think is cute blocks the sun from your face might be a little if it's too hot maybe i wouldn't wear a hat because it might make you even sweatier and in the brown from the hat with the brown on the slides and that is the look for that in this one you guys Actually, I have a few that are all like kind of in the same thing. So this is going to be called the concert series um, in this video, at least. And I recommended a few different concert looks and I was very excited about this. I am a very avid concert goer. I love concerts and I'm glad that you guys wanted to see concert looks because that's my number one. If I do get dressed, it's usually go to go to a concert like in the normal world. And I love that. So I love that you guys love concerts, too. And these are all to my favorite people. Harry Styles show. This one was one that I had to really think about because Harry Styles, iconic fashion obviously, and I feel like I had to think about it and think, okay, what would I wear here to make me feel cute that I, that, and his fashion and everything like that, but I know I would have to do a lot of digging to, of preparation for this concert, so I'm going to go off of what I have in my closet, we're going to see how well I do, you guys feel free to rate me. For my closet, let's try these on and I'm just kind of jibber jabber through them. I do like a monochrome blue look for some reason, it just really stood out to me. And I went for this blazer, I bought this blazer for my birthday. And so just pretend it doesn't have shrimp cocktail on it from that day, but you know, whatever. I have to get it dry cleaned, but I don't know about this. I'm going to change the pants. I have like um, a powder blue pair of pants and I think it would look a little bit better. So let's see. I think this works a little bit better. I don't know about the shirt under it, but I kind of wanted to go for that. I don't know about the double collars, but I think yeah, it looks cute. Maybe I could, could I do like a red cowboy boot with this? Would that look really bad? I'd actually probably wear to a concert because they're literally like on the floor dead. I think I would have to pull. Hey, I don't know. But to be honest, if I'm going to a concert in the summertime, I would not be wearing, I would wear this into there, but if I was there, I'd probably just be on this. And this is pretty simple for a concert outfit, but you know what? You gotta be comfortable at concerts. You only always dance and scream until I lose my voice and I'm sore for the next week. Okay, this one, we of course have to do a Taylor Swift concert. So lover folklore, uh, Taylor's version, all. So let's see. I'm gonna have to see here. This is one, it would be hard because Taylor Swift concerts are the concert I would not be in a normal outfit for, especially in this realm of life, I don't care anymore. When I was younger, I would be too embarrassed to wear like the fun outfits that light up. I wish I wasn't, I wish I wasn't because I could have gotten like rep room and like backstage stuff. Anyway, um, let's see. I would wear in theory if I wasn't going to do something crazy, if I was just going as a normal Taylor fan and yeah. So this, is kind of what I would wear. I wasn't going to go crazy. Last at the rep tour, my sister, my mom, and I, we all dressed up in like full camo. I don't know, I wish I could find the picture. Um, but that was the best concert of my life. Touched Taylor Swift's hand, by the way, but anyway. Um, so, <laughs> so this is what I would wear. Do you guys know my top, my favorite shirt? This is from Etsy, I'll link it down below. You guys always seem to love it whenever I mention it, so love that. But then also representation of all of the past few eras of Taylor Swift. I feel like Gingham kind of goes with them, like the Folklore Evermore era. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that. And then like with the cowboy boots um, of Taylor's version, Fearless. Go up with my disco ball, like mirror ball, as my purse. <gasps> Wait, a disco ball as a purse to a Taylor Swift concert in representation of like mirror ball, that would kind of be iconic. 
Um, wait, I kind of want a disco ball purse. Does anyone know how to make one of those? But this is it. I have, it has a slit. Did I show you guys the skirt yet? This is from Target. I think it's at Perseo right now. So if it is, I'll link it because this is a really nice skirt. I'm wearing a size large um, and I love it so much. I love the little detail here, but Taylor Swift look. Let's go, baby. I'm so excited to see her in the next time she's on tour. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I think that's all I'll do for the um, concert ones, but my husband did request six different ones, and I'm going to pick one that is a cold summer day. So this is what I would wear if it was cold, which has been the case lately here, and what I would wear on that day. So I would normally just opt for sweats, and if I'm going out, I like to do a little bit nicer of sweats, you know, not like my bleed bleached sweats. So this is the look I would go for. Let me try it on because these are two pieces in my closet that I love so much that are like just sweats. I don't know. You guys understand how much I love these sweatpants. They are like so comfortable and cute. They were from Nordstrom. I think they're BP line and I am just obsessed. I think they're so cute. They're not like the typical checkered print. They're kind of like a longer checker. And then this is a sweatshirt from Mad Happy, which is my husband and I's favorite favorite sweat brand. That Happy supports a lot of different mental health things and I just love their brand and their purpose. But also their quality is like the best quality we've ever purchased from anywhere ever. Even like from designer purchases, Mad Happy is it. So I thought I'd mention that. But this is the outfit I would wear on a cold summer day and I would do my little favorite shoes. I love these shoes. I don't get to wear them enough because they don't go with like everything I wear, you know? But when I get to wear them, like I usually wear them with something like this. I'll show you a close up, but um, what are they called? I always forget what they're called. Foam runners? My foam runners. There we go. Um, but I love this look. I wore this to the thrift store the other day and I felt so comfortable because it was very cold out and you can wear it at home too in the AC. So love that. Now this one, this is another entry from my husband, the Naked Brothers Band live concert at the palace in 2009. 2009, I think I was like 12, I want to say, and so my, I'm going to combine what I would have worn then to what I would wear now to a Naked Brothers Band concert. If you listen to the Naked Brothers Band or watch their TV show back then, they still make music. Him, Nat, and Alex Wolf, they are one of my favorite bands, actually. They have such good music out right now, so just a PSA, but let's get into what I'd wear there. And what I used to do when I was 12, I would layer things a lot of the time. And to be honest, they were a lot of things like this. This is a top that I recently got from H&M. And I'm going to layer this and show you how I would wear it now at a Naked Brothers Band concert, but kind of like in a similar vein of when I was 12. Oh, I would start off pretty basic here, right? Favorite thrifted jeans as of late, and then a tank or a t-shirt. And then I would throw a tank top over the top really cute and I would wear this like this today but this is like the updated version I used to wear like those peplum tops over like button downs and different things like that I don't know I used to have a lot of fun in my mom's closet um but this is what I would wear there now just because I think this is a really cute outfit actually a loafer I feel like I would wear a loafer back then and now I don't know if I wore loafers when I was 12 but if I could go back I would make my 12 year old self wear a loafer you know I'm going out to a concert so Naked Brothers fan, meeting my grandma for brunch. So I'm going to put together an outfit that I love so much because this is something I wear often. I like doing monochrome looks. This is a top that I got from H&M recently. I haven't taken the tags off of it yet, but I love it so much. I haven't worn it either yet, but um, monochrome is the way to go, especially when you're seeing family. I feel like you can look cute. You can feel very presentable in it. And let's go. This is such like a me outfit oh look at it. another mask in my pocket like i said this is such a me outfit this is an outfit that i feel very comfortable in and co um like myself in and again i like these this one feels literally like you're naked there's like zero pounds on it and you can also just take it off if it's too hot and tie it around your waist whatever and then i would wear my new balances with it because i think that would look so cute love these colors together i think this is so cute i love monochrome i do however always think that it kind of like if you are far away enough I could look like I'm walking down the road naked but like that is other people's problem if they think that it's where the brain goes not mine right 
cute. I always try to thrift mine, but for some reason the ones at the thrift store are so heavy all the time. I wanted like a really lightweight one and I feel like this is super cute. So, so I think that's literally my last outfit of this and I'm sweating and my office is a mess. So if you can see that, I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you like so much, seriously, so much for responding to my questions because I'm happy um, that I have you guys and I love you so much. And also, I want to say thank you so much for 4,000 subscribers. Uh, it literally makes me so happy and it kind of like whacks me out every time I look at it. I'm like, I know to like a lot of people it's not a lot, but to me it is like, I don't know. I wanted to do YouTube for so, so long. Um, I'll get into that at a different time, but I just really appreciate it. I didn't plan to mention it in this video. I just kind of want to talk about it, but I, I do plan on doing a giveaway soon to thank you guys for everything because you guys make me feel so loved and I love you very much. So talk to you guys later. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already and follow me on Instagram if you want to be a part of the next one and love you. Bye.